Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. In this video, we're going to talk about financial model red flags, right? So how do you know if your model is good or not? And um, this video is going to be focused on profit, funding needs, and valuation. And what we're specifically going to look at is EBITDA margin and operating profit, cash flow from operations, which is how much money do you make from operating your business, burn rate, which is a monthly fixed cost, working capital, which is the capital that you need to operate your business, which arises either from you extending credit to your customers or buying inventory, funding needs, and then valuation and valuation assumptions. Okay, now let's look at this financial data and understand why some of them are good and some of them are red flags. And we're going to go through each financial data separately. This is a fictional, um, obviously, scenarios. These are not real data. And they're just supposed to demonstrate certain patterns that you would look out for. OK, so for a startup that's uh, raising their first round, right? that's the scenario, it's normal not to make money the first or second year second year you see they're uh, about to break even and so those numbers are fine you also want to make sure that year five numbers are not too high typically between somewhere between 70 and 100 dollars is okay however if you look at the third scenario you see that the company is not making money and making very little money even in year five and so this is not a profitable business this is when it's a red flag and you want to go and look at your assumptions again it's a similar situation with cash flow from operations for the exact same reason right because ebitda and cash flow from operations for um uh, especially technology startup would be very similar for um you know, other startups that may be a little bit different um, for working capital, right? So working capital uh, will be minimal for technology startups, but it will be significant for product startups when you have to purchase inventory. And so you just want to make sure that you're not purchasing, so to speak, too much for the stage in which you're in. And so um, that's why I put the third scenario as a red flag, even though just by looking at these numbers, you don't actually have a lot of information. It's just that it seems like it could be a lot. However, it really depends on the um, stage of growth of the business as well as the price per item, et cetera, and the cost to manufacture it and stuff like that. So this is actually almost like a yellow flag. You're not sure it may be a problem, it may not be a problem, it would require some further analysis. Now, burn rate. Burn rate is your monthly fixed cost. And so of course, um, again, without seeing any other data for a startup, this is a very big number, 8 million. But again, you would have to see the whole business in order to make sure that this number is reasonable. If you're making money, uh, if you're growing, uh, if you're starting at a point that's not, you know, a complete nothing, then it could be okay. So this is more of a yellow flag as well. Now, funding needs. So these are funding needs that I'm giving you two examples here, more for a pre-seed and seed round. And for those rounds, five and 10 million is too much. So you always want to make sure that you're raising the amount of money that's consistent with the stage in which you're in. Otherwise, nobody's going to give you that amount of capital because it, the risk will be too much. Similarly, with the valuation, you don't want to be too low and you don't want to be too high. You want to be in the range of where the market is. And then, of course, strive to the upper side of that range. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to the Startup Station's YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn how to model early stage ventures, we have a free masterclass. The link is in the description. Please go there, sign up, and learn how to model your venture in a way that's credible to investors. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.